Hello and welcome back to our Daily Soap. I'm so glad that you're able to join us today as we uh, just have at the beginning of July began uh, just a couple of days ago walking through uh, some of the Psalms. And today we're looking at a very obscure Psalm. Uh, probably very few people have heard of this Psalm. But seriously, today we're looking at Psalm 23. And as I read uh, Psalm 23 today, uh, I just thought, wow, I mean, there's so much in this in this psalm that we could use, that we could apply the soap, uh, Bible study method to, because it speaks to us in so many different ways. But how did God speak to you today as you read Psalm 23? For me, it was verses two and three, which says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. And my, oh, my observation is, the good shepherd leads his sheep from the chaos of this world into a quiet place of rest. True rest can only be found in his heart and in his will. God restores our well-being when we pursue what pleases him, and then we rest in him. My A, my application is, there are times in my life and ministry when I feel like I am just walking in circles. This can lead to feeling exhausted if I'm not careful. When I feel like things are going in circles, then I need to check to be sure that I am following him in that circle. And if I am, I will be okay. I need to trust in him that he sometimes takes a roundabout path to help me to grow. And finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, I know that if I am following you, that I am on the right path, no matter where I am going. Help me to be a better follower and trust that as I follow you, you always seek my good in your glory. Amen. And what a beautiful psalm. There's so much in here that speaks to us about, uh, about uh, God. And, and David uses his experience as a shepherd uh, to uh, how he related to God. And he related to God as his shepherd. And he shares that in the 23rd Psalm. My guess is, and you know, if I were a betting man, I'd bet if you came all the way back around a year from now and read the 23rd Psalm, you'd pick a different verse and God would speak to you in a totally different way. That's how God's word works. It's always speaking to us each and every time we open our Bibles and read his word. I'm glad that you're able to join us today. And as we begin to close our time together, would you join me in a word of prayer? This pray. God, once again, thank you for your word. Uh, Father, it's living and true and speaks to us today. Father, we thank you for this beautiful song that we have heard probably since we were little children. And Father, every time that, that I read it, and I'm sure I, if for everyone that I'm praying for here, Father, I'd, I know that we all feel that way as we read the 23rd Psalm. Father, keep us in your word. Uh, Father, one way that we follow you is, is opening your word and reading it and allowing you to speak to us so that we might know you. Father, help us to be that way with you. May we open your word each and every day and as we begin to read it, hear you speak to us and most importantly, that we do what your word tells us to do, that we are obedient to your word in these days. Father, I thank you for this online community of uh, this opportunity that we have in this online community to read your word together and to grow together. And I pray that we are all being blessed during this time together. Lord, thank you for your great love for us. Let us go out and live out that love in our lives as we love each other. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Be blessed.